Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm. In my holy mountain, all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. For it is at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. Like the morning clouds spread over the mountains. A people come great and strong. The like of whom has never been, nor will there ever be any such after them, even for many successive generations. A fire devour before them, and behind them a flame burns. The land is like the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Surely nothing shall escape them. Their appearance is like the appearance of horses, and like swift steeds, so they run with a noise, like chariots over mountain tops. They leap, like the noise of a flaming fire, that devours the stubble, like a strong people set in battle array. Before them, the people read. Read it in pat, all faces are drained of color. They run like mighty men. They climb the wall like men of war. Everyone marches in formation, and they do not break ranks. They do not push one another. Everyone marches in his own column. So they launch, launched between the weapons. They are not cut down. They run to the to and fro in the city. They run on the wall. They climb into the houses. They enter at the windows like a thief. The earth quakes before them. The heavens tremble. The sun and moon grow dark. And the stars diminish their brightness. So praise the Lord. I'm using my my smartphone right now we're looking at the moon at the moon there's an eclipse right now and it's really hard to see on the phone but uh, if you look up in the sky there's an eclipse it's a full moon it's an eclipse plus the part that um, it's covered it's reddish reddish color you cannot see it I think on the phone uh, I'm not. I'm not seeing uh, what I'm seeing on the sky on the phone. It's bad. Uh, bad image right now. It's dark, but uh, yeah. But the dark. Everything. Okay, about an hour ago, this moon was completely bright, white, full moon. And now we just got a little spot that is white and the rest is uh, reddish color, reddish color. It's, uh, so, ladies and gentlemen... Men, women, youngsters, young men, young women, children, everybody, seek the Lord. 
get right with God. Jesus Christ is coming soon. This is the signs of what um, in the book of uh, Joel, the book of Matthew, and uh, on uh, Acts chapter 2 talks about. So it's almost completely all, it's like a reddish color. So let's continue to, to read. And it says, uh, the earthquakes before, the earthquakes before them, the heavens tremble, the sun and moon grow dark, and the stars diminish their brightness. The Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? Now, therefore, says the Lord, Turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. So rent your heart and not your garment. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great and of great kindness. And he relents from doing harm. Who knows if he will turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him. A grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. So this is, uh, he just read uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 1 to 14. Uh, it's, uh, go ahead and read the whole chapter, guys. It's just, uh, wow. Let me go. So we got chapter 24 over here. Let's start on uh, verse uh, uh, 6. And you will hear, it's in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 down. And you will hear of words, rumors of words, see that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Excuse me, but the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. So, pause right there. Ladies and gentlemen, get around with God. Have you been watching the news lately? Or just Google it. Uh, there's been earthquakes. There's a nation rising against nation. So, this is what it's talking about. Prophecy being fulfilled. Pestilences. Famine. Okay. So let's keep on reading. All this are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end should be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever, whoever reads, let him understand. Okay. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the house top not go down to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time nor nor ever should be and unless those days were shortened no flesh will be safe but for the elect's sake those days will be shortened then if anyone says to you look here is the christ or there or there do not believe it for false christ and false prophets will rise and show great 
signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. Therefore, if they say to you, Look, he is in the desert, do not go out. Or, Look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For wherever the carcasses is gathered, the eagles will be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of heaven of the heavens will be shaken the signs of the son of man will appear in heaven and then all these all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end to another to the other now learn this parable from the fig tree when its branch has already become tender and put four leaves you know the summer is near so you also when you see all these things know that it is near as surely i say to you this generation will by no means pass away till so all these things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my word will by no means pass away so we got almost uh this is the moon. It's uh just a little tiny piece left me. Can you see that guys? I don't know if you can see the the reddish but uh it looks red. That the top part looks red. And the bottom part, just a little tiny bit, it's white. It's almost all, it's like a reddish orange color. So how you guys doing with Jesus? Have you called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? You must be born again. Repent of your sins. Time is running out. So it's almost all covered. Just a little spot on the bottom that's still white. Just like 5% of the moon that's white. And the red is like orange. So we got a, a black one right there, and then that's a that's a blood moon right there. It's a red moon. So we go to Acts. Two seventeen, and it should come to pass that in the last day, says God, that I will pour out my pour out of my spirit. On all flesh, your sons and your daughters should prophesy. Your young men should see visions. Your old men should dream dreams. Okay, guys, I got a couple videos here on my on this YouTube account of um, dreams that I had about all this that's taking place place right now. Jesus Christ is coming soon, very soon. So, and on my 
men servant and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit on those days and they should prophesy I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke the sun should be turned into darkness and the moon into blood wow before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord and it should come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord should be saved so oh look at the moon over there So we got a, we got a blood moon. It's really. I hope you guys could see that red. So now it's like just one person white on the bottom, and the rest is uh, red. This is a blood moon right here. What we're seeing. So. People, get ready. Get ready with God. Just like the prophecy of Joel, the prophet, what it talks about. We gotta sound the alarm. Be ready. Jesus coming. Jesus coming soon. Praise the Lord. Wanna get on, brother? <laughs> 